Oh, hey, everyone. Good morning. So, I just thought I would talk about the Dark Soul breastplate, the Dark Soul leggings, and the Dark Soul shoulders. So, the plans are dropped from Rin Wushu from the Dark Spear tribe. The shoulders require friendly, the leggings require honored, and the breastplate requires revered to manufacture. But anyone can wear this set. And you basically need to gain a lot of reputation to manufacture these. And they're actually quite profitable. And I always sell these at a pretty reasonable price. So let's talk about the Solderite briefly. Solderite is mined from Zulgarub. And it actually goes on the auction house very, very cheaply. Because not many people use it. <laughs> In fact, I sometimes feel like I'm the only person on the server who actually uses the stuff. Uh, you also require large opal and uh, thorium bars to manufacture Dark Soul Breastplate. Now this is actually really good because a lot of people are mining arcane crystals, getting ready for Nax, which will require a lot of arcane crystals. So let's have a look at the Breastplate. So it's got 32 stamina, 736 armor, and it increases your chance to hit by 1%. The big thing about this armor is the hit chance. You want to get about a 9% hit rating on your warrior. And this will basically ensure that with um, a single two-handed weapon or with um, one-handed weapon doing yellow damage, which is any of your abilities, uh, with a 9% hit, you will basically always hit the enemy. I kind of figure this kit is probably not so great for a DPS warrior, although the individual hit can be quite useful. It's really useful if you're a tank and you basically want to well if you're like a, a fresh level 60 tank then buying an armor um, set like this is really good you may also notice that if you have all three items then you get plus 20 defense before we go any further the plus 20 defense set bonus is really good but unfortunately you require 300 blacksmithing in order to use this now, I personally think this is really deceptive because it doesn't say on the tooltip that you need 300 blacksmithing. But I guess it is what it is. And even without blacksmithing, this is still a very nice set for the extra hit that you're going to get as a warrior. Let's have a quick look at the leggings. Awesome. So they're very similar, except they have 2% hit, right? And there's not many items in the game with a 2% hit. And finally, you have the shoulders, which again, follow a similar sort of pattern. I'll save up, um, what was it, about 36 solderite. And I'll manufacture all three of these at once and put them all on the auction house. Uh, I'll typically mention in trade chat that I have these and I want to sell them because a lot of the time people will buy these. Because solderite is often very, very cheap, you can often get it for about, uh, I think I got most of mine here, for about 55 uh, silver a piece. You're looking at about, at those kind of prices, you're looking at about 20 gold in Solderite to manufacture all three of these. So I typically sell these for about 32 gold each. What I normally do is, if someone wants to buy all three, I give them away for 80 gold. So that's pretty cheap for something which is going to mostly max out your hit rating and is a pretty decent set for early on for a lot of different warriors. But uh, I, I also feel really good about making these because a lot of people wear these. Uh, I've probably made about 20, maybe 25 sets of these. Every time I put them on the auction house, they always sell, apart from one time, I think. So uh, again, these things are selling like hotcakes. It all depends on how cheap you can get your solder right. Anyway, I hope you found that useful and good luck wearing this and manufacturing it.